Hey guys, today we are going to look at x and y intercepts. We are going to answer the question, what are some key features of linear graphs? So a y intercept is where x equals zero because it is where the line intersects the y axis. So when it intersects the y axis, the x value is zero. To find the y intercept algebraically from an equation, we can substitute in zero for the x value and then solve for y, since we know the y intercept is where x equals zero. So the x intercept, another name for them is zeros. This is where the line intersects the x axis. So it is where the y value is zero. So because of that, to find an x intercept algebraically from an equation, we want to substitute zero in for the y value and then solve for x. So y-intercept is where x equals 0, x-intercept is where y equals 0. So on this equation here, I'm going to use that fact to help me find the x and the y-intercepts. So the x-intercept is where y equals 0. So to find the x-intercept from this equation, I'm just going to replace y with 0 and solve for x. So instead of y, I'm going to put 0 equals negative x plus five, and now I'm gonna solve that equation for x. So I'm gonna subtract five, and I get negative five equals negative x, so that means that x equals five. So the x-intercept is five, or if you wanted to write it like an ordered pair, it would be five, zero. Okay, then the y-intercept is where x equals zero. So we're gonna do the same thing, but instead of replacing y, we're going to replace x with 0. So we will replace this right here with 0. So it'll be y equals negative 0 plus 5. So 0 times anything included negative 1 is just 0. So this ends up being y equals 0 plus 5, so y equals 0. So our y-intercept is also 5 or that ordered pair would be 0, 5. Okay, number two, we are given a table. The x-intercept is where y equals 0. So that is this point right here. That means our x-intercept is negative 1. And then the y-intercept is where x equals 0, which is right here in our table. So that means the y-intercept is 3. On number three, it says find the x and y intercepts, then graph the line using the intercepts. So this is called standard form of an equation, which we will talk about a little bit more in the next unit. Um, but whenever you have a linear equation like this, it is really easy to find the x and the y intercepts. And then remember, all we need to graph the line is two points. So we will be able to do that once we have the x and the y intercept. So let's start with the x intercept. That is where y equals 0. So to find the x-intercept, I'm going to replace y with 0. So it would be x minus 0 equals 2. So x equals 2. So our x-intercept is 2. So if we want to go ahead and plot that, we can. It's just intersecting the x-axis at 2. And then the y-intercept is where x equals 0. So to find the y-intercept, I'm going to replace x with 0. So it would be 0 minus y equals 2 when I replace x right here with 0. So then that becomes negative y equals 2. So then I would divide by that invisible negative 1. So my y-intercept is negative 2. So I have my two points, and now I can graph this line. All right, let's look at number four. We have another standard form equation. It wants us to find the x and the y intercepts, and then we'll be able to graph since we'll have two points. So x intercept is where y equals zero. So I'm going to find the x intercept by replacing y with zero. So it'll be 9x minus 15 times 0 equals 45.
So 9x will equal 45, because 15 times 0 is 0. And then I just divide by 9, so our x-intercept is 5. So I'm going to go ahead and plot that on the x-axis at 5. And then my y-intercept will be where x is 0. So to find my y-intercept, this time we will replace x with 0. So it'll be 9 times 0 minus 15y equals 45. So that goes away and it ends up being negative 15y equals 45. We divide by negative 15 and I get y equals negative 3. So my y-intercept is negative 3. So I'm going to go ahead and plot that on the y-axis. And now I have two points and can draw my line between them. Okay, number five, we have a graph and it says that the graph below shows the number of ounces of watermelon sherbet in a bowl based on the number of minutes that Maya has been eating sherbet. What is the y-intercept and what does it mean? So the y-intercept is where we cross the y-axis and it is right here. That is where the number of minutes is zero. So that means that is where Maya started. That means that Maya started with 16 ounces of sherbet in the bowl. So the y-intercept is 16. And that means that Maya started with 16 ounces of sherbet in the bowl. Okay, then let's look at the x-intercept. The x-intercept is right here, and that is when the ounces of sherbet is zero. And it looks like it hits that at six minutes. So when the ounces of sherbet is zero, she has finished the sherbet. So after six minutes, she has finished all of the sherbet. So that was the number of minutes it takes her to finish the sherbet. 